Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. So it's day 17, week four, I believe, and we are continuing with the organ renovation or yeah. restoration. The grand organ rebuild continues. So yeah, today we've got some very interesting bits to do. We've got a few of those notes to sort out, which were not playing correctly. Um, and then we're on to doing more with the bigger um, air passages. So yeah, there's plenty to look forward to. And um, I think Michael's up to something, isn't he? Michael is um, organizing the Prince, I believe this morning. So you'll catch up with him in a minute. It's quite interesting what he's doing. So let's crack on, mate. Come let's on, let's do, do it. it. Michael and I are now in the middle of the organ. We're in, we the have in the thick of it. <laughs> and what we're doing, we spoke about yesterday, we need to remove this panel that Michael's doing and I'm doing now uh, to get to the, the valve mechanism because we need to check. We think there might be just a small obstruction. Um, so we're going to check because the note is playing without the key being pushed down. So it means one of those, what's the name of the? Pallets. One of the pallets might be slightly compromised. So we're going to have a look. But we also have an issue with, um, we've got perfect air pressure, which we will show you later. We have a uh, very handy device. Manomini, mano, manometer? Manometer? Mano. Mano, mano, manometer? I don't know. <laughs> Something that measures air pressure. Well, not, the... Normally they have water in them. Yeah. We've got a digital one. Yeah. And we, uh, it, this is wind pressure is measured in inches. And um, we've set the organ to 3.49 inches of air pressure, um, which makes, we, we tested it with three. Uh, and we found that three, just under 3.5 is a lovely, clear, rich sound. And it doesn't make the pipe, pipes play too sharp. It's just, it gives it more volume. So. And what is very interesting is that at every opening, the pressure is exactly the same. So we, in that respect, yes, we know we've got a few, we've got air leaks you might have heard yesterday, but that is only where the pipes haven't been put in. We have a few little minor air leaks around um, and we're going to do a smoke test, uh, which we will show you as well. So the first job is um, just to get all this mechanism so that we know the valves are closed when they should be closed and open when they should be open. We'll make sure all the notes are playing and everything's, but we know now we've got even air pressure to every single opening on the, um, on the organ, which is great. And then we'll do the smoke test. So that'll give us an indication of them where we've got to look. But we, because we've been around the old girl for a few weeks, and as we've been putting her together, we are getting a feel for where we need to be and where stuff's at. So. Yeah, it's all it's all interesting. So we'll uh, we'll carry on with this and see what we see what we find. What's in the box? What's in box number two? Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Hopefully, a working <laughs> pallet. <laughs> it's a sort of lowish F. I think that's the one. Lift it. Let it close it. Let me close it. That one. Can I open that one again? It's lower than that. Oh, 
Yes, I know exactly what's wrong with it. What is it? There's a piece, there's either side of the pallet. Yeah. Okay. There is two vertical pieces of wire that act as oh, guide yeah, rails, yeah, that yeah. act as guide rails yeah. to keep it aligned with the hole above it. Now one of them's snapped off, it's missing. Okay. So it, there's nothing to stop it. Sliding. Across. Look, like that. Yeah, yeah. And it's just left open. Okay, so if I get you a little so piece of down. It's, it's a piece of wire. I don't know if a piece of wire, because some, I'll have to drill a hole and insert a piece of wire that near the front. It, it can is, you see here? Yeah, I can see exactly what you mean. If, so you, pull it, that, it's that, if you pull it down, look. Yeah. It's going back. Yeah, to the side. It's going back to the side. So is there a hole there, or um, is it dropped out, or do I need to... I think it's snapped off. Right, so Michael's just done that repair to the note, or the area of the wedge. Um, to the side of it, it needed a guide because what happened, as he explained, it just kept coming off centre so the air was passing around the side. But he also noticed um, a crack in the underside of the wind chest, which he's cleaned off meticulously and he's repaired. Um, so we're waiting for that to dry or that will dry as we're reassembling. In the meantime, Billy and I have been uh, focusing on the front end um, of the of the organ where we had these lead pipes so these old big lead pipes you can see they're pretty pretty knackered they're all misshaped and they were broken and taped so they had the um, or tape they had the the leatherette with the with the glue what we're going to do because we've re we're replacing all the little lead pipes with the um, that beautiful um, lead replica, it's a uh, synthetic pipe. Um, we're doing the same with these. So these are going to replace the lead pipes that were there in the front. And what they do, there's only two. It comes from the top of the organ here underneath the manifold. They go down here and they go into this base plate in these two holes here. And then these two holes you see here and here are for the very big or the two biggest tubes that go in. So they, they sit behind these gold pipes. So the job is uh, we're, we're redoing them. We have the, the, um, the glue and it's, it's literally just a case of putting them together, getting them to length and plumbing them in. So once that's done, Billy and I are going to put the really big or the very deepest um, tubes in of the organ so exciting time so yeah we're going to get on get these in um, and like i say we'll get the big tubes in and then that is all the airways apart from the pneumatic side which is operated from the foot pedals so that there's a long rank which we'll show you we're going to it operates this chest which is just the pneumatic side so that's all operated when you push a pedal it sends a tiny bit of air up those pipes we spoke of it opens a little wedge bellow which opens the the big um, part of this chest and makes a lovely sound so we're going to do this and then yeah this is a really a separate issue we want to get all the tracking the old organ done and then we're going to concentrate on the pneumatic side because originally as we've always said that is the original organ this is the extra bit and the extra bit we can do afterwards so once we've got that really sweet and she's making all the right noises then we can focus on that otherwise it all just it's there's just so much um so much to do so we're just trying to do it in stages so this part of the organ is still the the old bit if you like and the bit behind we'll focus on later so let's crack on
So we're ready to put in the huge pipe. So these are the lowest notes of the entire organ. And these are made of zinc, they're not lead, and they're quite sturdy. So Nick and I this morning have been sorting out all of the airflow for it. So we're using some PVC pipe rather than the old lead ones, weren't yeah. we, mate? because they were absolutely, as you saw, they were completely knackered. They'd been repaired two or three times. Um, so yeah, we've done a, a modernization of that part. Um, and yeah, we're good to go. So let's um, slip them in. But one thing I want to notice, your pipe's a little bit smaller than mine, mate. <sighs> c'est la vie, as they say in France. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Where does your one go? It goes in first, but it might have to go down inside. I know, I reckon it will go through. I reckon mine will go in, Nick. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh no, you've got to do a manoeuvre. I've got to do a manoeuvre. So we go up first. There we go. Oh, that's tricky, that is. Let me put my knees around it. There we go. No, I'm good. Oh, I am good. Right, and that goes there. And now your one, Nick. I'm coming. Do you want me to do it for you? <laughs> oh, go, go on then. <laughs> Can someone hold that pipe? Slip it yeah. up into oh, there. I've got it there. Yeah. You Is get this your pipe you just put in? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Look at that. Doubled. And we are in position. But now, <laughs> what holds them up? No, no, with that. Well, I think there was a bit of wood here, Nick. Yeah. I'm going to have a look now. I've now we need to go right. through the, sure. yep. the dwindling parts of wood that are left and see what goes where. They're huge though. So, but the, the jigsaw puzzle is getting less and less all the time, so we should be able to find it. Good job, Bill. Good job, Nick. Your little pipe did the trick. Let's, um, let's work that out. Okay, so I think I know what that is. So Michael is about to turn on the organ just to make sure that his repair this morning has actually fixed the problem. And also we'll be testing these lowest notes. So it's going to be really interesting. Hopefully they work, fingers crossed. They both work, they work, Nick. They're yeah, working. They're touching each other though. Where's that hair coming out of here? Did that again? They just put this stop in, Michael. What? The front on that side, there must be another There's stop. There's stop over. over there. Only the open. Do it again. Well, C comes on with this. Is it off now? No, C is coming on. C? Are you pressing bottom C? Yeah. Yeah, this one's coming on with it. Yeah, maybe they come in unison. Maybe, yeah. That's the great 15th, that one. They should yeah. be used, yeah. Yeah, that's the cell. Yeah. <coughs> in the box, in the box. Yeah. Are they both played? Yeah. 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 And, the, and, and, and they're not playing now? No. No. So we fixed it. Michael fixed it. Yeah, sorted. Well done, Mike. I can I fixed hear it. it. I had to perform keyhole surgery on the vac wind chest and uh, we managed to fix it. So what we're about to do now is we're about to put the next stop of pipes in the swell box and it's called the open diapason, something like that. So um, yeah, let's crack on.
So, Alex, we are just about to install, oh yes, thank you for the gloves, very important. Uh, we're just about to install the, uh, the next rank of pipes. We've already installed two, and this is the third. Uh, we believe they're called, what are they called, Billy? This is called the open, sorry, chain, something like that, sorry, table or something like that. It's basically the open on the swell. Ooh, I need, I think it's a C, this one. I'm not gonna wear gloves for this, because these gloves are no good, they're too thick. Oh dear. It must go in one of these. So we have just installed the resting plate or the support plate for all these middle sections or the next rank of pipes we're going to do. Um, we have a couple of wooden pipes that need to go in or boxes. And then uh, Michael's just organizing what these, these bigger ones are. That's a C. Can we that. have a C please? Do look for two of the black notes together and it's the first left white one on the left of those. We really need to get a box on there. I'll go down. Right. Ah, do it again. Right, is that the same, is that the C? Yeah. Are you sure? Keep playing. And what holds that up? Bang on. No, um, I think we need the two. I think, Michael, look, look here. Yeah. I think we need That's the... So that's all, yeah, oh, okay, so that's why it's a small rank. So you've got all the metal ones and then you've got these four big ones that sit here. SWPR9785 sharp. continued journey of discovery we have found these brackets which go on the edge of the swell box and they have these nice little pieces of fabric some of which we have to repair which hold these bit larger um, the metal pipes in place and then the wood ones just hook on behind so uh, Michael's done one on this side I have I have done it there Billy's gonna get me like a bit of bandage or something to tie that pipe because it's a bit wobbly um, yeah. And so, yeah, we so were... So we're working it out. It would have been nice to have had a photo of the swell in place, but, you know, it is what it is. I think, so, it I think someone's just trying to... It's trying actually, to, We're just trying to be challenged, aren't we? It's actually probably a bit, a bit more interesting for the video. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it all just slotted back together, it'd be boring. So, uh, exactly. you know, it's, right. it was, it's a challenge, but we're, uh, we're pushing on. But, yeah, it's coming together. It looks really nice. It's making all the right noises, so... I guess that's a good thing. It's making a noise, which is something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be grateful for small mercies. Yeah. Uh, what's next so is just more, we're gonna now wrap this out with all the pipes. I'm gonna go down and hunt for some the, the other wooden boxes that sit here to complete the rank. And then um, burp, burp, Michael's burp. gonna make his little bandage, or Billy's gonna cut some strips of bandage. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, we have scissors up here as well. For now. We can actually do this. Yeah, chuck them there. We can do this in situ, yeah, look. Scissors. Down the... Oh. Oh, what's that? that? <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect padding for the bike. There we go, look oh, at that. Are you oh. actually, actually going to use the whole thing? Yeah. It's Why like not? Per first aid for organs. <laughs> perfect. Okay, well, I'll leave you to do your uh, whatever it is that you're magic, doing. Yeah, do your thing, boy.
Okay, so we we putting in the as you can see the square boxes, the the other boxes that hook onto these bits, and um, like we showed you before. But on the bottom here, where I put the reinforced runner for the for, for the edge of the swell box, I need to just modify it so that the the actual um, main box sits down in there. So that's what I'm going to do now. But I'm going to probably just take it out and I'll get Michael to. Um, uh, tell me if I can leave the corner in as we go and then we'll just see what we need to do and then I'll obviously replace what bits are needed as and when. Oh, I can't believe that. What a result. Michael, he's gone. I'm left them all on my own. So now, just ping that out. She's going to be beautiful. Gone as well as it could have. Much better than it possibly could have even imagined. So, um, so now that's going to fit in, and I'm going to make good here on the outside, which is fantastic. Because I've actually, when I put this back batten on here, that's sitting in the corner, which is supporting the um, the swell box, and it's supported originally on the front block. So. It's absolutely perfect. I was kind of belts and braces putting another bit on there. As it transpires, we don't need it. All I'm gonna do is where they've made this conversion hole, which is a bit rough, I'll make a nice um, cover plate on the outside. So happy days, no dust, no mess. Let's kick on, sorry, crack on. <laughs> Okay, so the end of another very productive and fruitful day. Michael and I have been busying away in the swell box, putting in all those other ranks, which has gone very, very well. We've had to do the wooden pieces. There's been a few little snaggy bits, hasn't there? There's been a lot. But we've managed to overcome everything. Yeah, and, and we're here. And it's working, and all of those pipes have been uh, put in and are tuned, and we're... We are good to go for the next rank tomorrow. Yeah, and then we're on to, so the next rank, interestingly enough, is all wooden. 
And then we're on to the beautiful instrument part of the orchestra, or the orchestra of the organ, isn't it? Yeah, they're it? like the sort of almost like um, trumpets, aren't trumpets they? Trumpets and, yeah, oboes and all sorts of beautiful Clarinets, sounds. Clarinets, yes. Yeah, so yeah. Um, lots to look forward to. And um, thank you again for, for joining in. Um, here we have the, the prints that Michael was talking about uh, yesterday. Yep. Um, so we have Pip in the cathedral uh, in Norwich. They, there he is. That's where the organ came from. And, and this is, actually, Pip is hidden in this, in this painting, um, but you'll need to look very closely to find it. Um, but he is hidden in there. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who bought um, some of these prints yesterday. Uh, we are actually, um, we're running out, um, but there is still time to buy some before Christmas. And if we manage to sell all of them, it's looking like we might be able to get some scaffolding into the chapel within the next few weeks to get up to that ceiling and start repairing it and yeah. putting it back to its former glory. So there's still time, and I just want to say that, um, that all the shipping is free on these, and it's for international, so you just pay the price of the print, and the shipping's included. All so included. All included. Um, and the website is www.doingitourselves.com, and there'll be a link in the description. So, and also, we'd just like to mention, Nick has got an amazing YouTube channel with his family and his wife, Jenny, and his children, um, and they rescue horses. Um, and you do an amazing job, and, and Jenny is an amazing, his wife, Jenny's an amazing um, teddy bear restorer, um, antique teddy bears, and she's repaired um, one of mine, and I'm, I'm absolutely impressed with and, her work. And made little Pip. And she made little Pip. Look at that, so she's a genius. So go and check out <laughs> The Moons, Yeah. and we'll put a link to that in the description as well. And I'd just like to say a big, big thank you to everyone that's come over and subscribed from here and from the other channels that mm -hmm. are associated with the Petherix because you make a difference. There is, mm -hmm. no, there is no shadow of doubt that every Absolutely. single person that subscribes makes a difference to our cause. So it yep. is, as Michael said, we, we look after the old elite equines when they're you know, in their latter years and give them the dignified end uh, of life that they deserve. So thank you all. And um, yep. I think um, with, with these guys' help, we're up to about 15, 16,000, yep. so. Um, well, yeah, it is brilliant. And, and I just want to say, I want to thank all of the subscribers to this channel as well, because you do, you make a difference. Because of you guys watching this channel, this convent is being restored properly as it should be. Yeah, um, so. and, the, and the lovely thing is, we're all, everyone's helping one another and it, and it does make a massive difference. You're you changing know. people's lives, so there you go. Yeah, forever. Right, so we'll see you tomorrow. Let's do bright it. Bright and early for more, uh, more, more, more fun in the swell box, more for swell, a swell time. More swell action, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.